All right, before we get the show started, I have to give a huge shout out to a special group of individuals that I like to call my Patreon podcast producers. And you know what? They're all on Instagram. So make sure you give them a follow. Daryl at Your Level Fitness, Caitlin at Caitlin Elise, put three Y's in her name, Crystal at Reduced Fat Mama, Joey at Joey Losing Weight, Vanessa at Vanessa Ray's Journey, and Amanda at Mutz underscore and underscore Miles. These guys are helping this show to move forward in a huge, huge way. And if you want to join this special group of individuals, make sure you stay tuned at the very end of the show for more details. Are you team Apple? I got to shout out all of you checking out this show right now on an iPhone, iPad, etc. In fact, nearly 70% of you are listening to me on one of these devices It would mean the world to me if you took a moment to leave a review. This is one of the best things that you can do for this podcast to help get the word out. And while you're at it, leave reviews for some of your other favorite shows. I bet they would really dig it. the record because you know how i do this thing it just starts and yeah boy i will say though that um having that microphone in front of your face for the first time can be very intimidating oh no not intimidating to you not really i did a lot of uh improv as a child yeah yeah no kidding yeah i I feel like we never dug into this in our four hour uno's conversation (laughs) we we knew (laughs) each other back then but you didn't go to high school with me true true. so yeah i did i performed in dc um no kidding yeah we did like a random gilligan's island version of like oedipus or some shit and it was like oh can i cuss on here that's Uh, like that i know i don't i'm I'm in a starbucks explicit tag checked okay there it is there, there's also children so i'm trying to <laughs> try to be pg but also i'm 30 yeah no I, I i totally get it and by the way i I just opened up a bottle of water i've had 106 ounces according to my app Jesus. today and so i don't know why other than because water because water's yeah. delicious <laughs> or you could just do like a what is the asmr You're like <laughs> oh yeah there you go I, I, I'm glad I laid out on that one. I got that one clean. That's we'll how you use get it the somewhere. Ads. Yeah. <laughs> get that ad sense. You just be like, mmm, water's delicious. <laughs> you just have to find a water brand to sponsor you. Ethos water, ladies and gentlemen. Ethos water. Starbucks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Love um, it. No, I brought up the microphone thing because that's that's kind of how we met. Uh, yeah. That was I I think back as far as 2007, but maybe you have me beat. Maybe you remember earlier. Well, I graduated in 2007. I definitely knew you before that. So maybe okay. 2005, 2006. Okay. So, so I was a sophomore, freshman, sophomore when uh, Brian was doing band stuff. I see. Brian Whitney just got married. Congratulations. Love you. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's right. He did. Yeah. I commented on the thing. I just love that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I think the last time I saw him was the last time we played a show together. Probably. Yeah, you know what? Time. That's probably the last time I saw him. He's a busy guy. <laughs> he is. Yeah. Doing the damn thing. Um, so Star- I guess Starlet Eyes, that would be the first time, right? Or were you around for like the Run 6 stuff? Oh, yeah. I was around for Run 6. Oh, well, then we, well, I think I remember actually like handshaking with yes. you at yes. Starlet Eyes. That's yes. what I remember. Yes, officially. I went to the, uh, was the last show of Run 6 and uh, it was at the church or whatever. And was I was epic. just like, Whew. I was like, there's so many people here. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one in the little room, right? Yes. yes. I was like, it's also so incredibly hot in here. <laughs> but that's what you, that's what you do in, when you're following bands and the music. You just... You suffer how for do, the music. How do you find out about these kind of bands? Are they just friends from your high school, basically? Like, you knew Brian, obviously. Is I that- knew Brian. He was in my English class. Yeah. And I didn't cheat off of him. Um, <laughs> and then I had known, I found out that Danny Harlow, who was his cousin. Okay. I'd known him since, like, the beginning of time. And no I didn't kidding. know they were related. Wow. He's just like, you know, my cousin. I'm like, yeah, I constantly get him in trouble in history. <laughs> I've, it's literally constantly. It's not even my fault. I just have that face. Mm-hmm. And he's just ha- got that laugh. So, uh, <laughs> but then we just, it's like that core. You find that core in high school and then you just kind of run with it until. Run with the pack. You get older, suspended. And then <sighs> what are you going to do? I don't, I can't, I could probably count on like one hand the amount of people I've seen since high school. 
And obviously there is an age difference. I graduated in 2000. Yes, I'm that old. That's okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I haven't seen you, like, I, I've probably seen like five people, honestly. Some people I wish I didn't see ever. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> but, Running uh, into some people around town. Yeah, also, my, my bro- I have an older brother who's like maybe a year and some change older than me. Yeah. Graduated before me. And he suddenly like hangs out with all these people that... I got up to no good with in high school. I'm yeah. just, and they're just like, oh, hey, I'm just like, what are you doing in my home? What's going here? on? <laughs> what, why is this happening? Why am I not wearing more pants right now? This is <laughs> ridiculous. But no, like most of the people that I was like super friends with, either like moved or they've got yeah. married, got kids. And but I mean, just living that dog mom life. There you go. Doing my best. And I don't know that I met your brother. Was he into some of the same bands? I don't know if he was ever no, went to those he's shows. Not in the scene. Okay. He was. He was a uh, big truck. Okay. Country. This is kind of my world now. Yeah. He. Yeah. He was a uh, very. He was. He was sports oriented, and then he was got the lifted trucks, and then we go get stuck. Yeah. In the woods, and but uh. No, as far as he was never into, he like picked me up for much. I think the first show I ever took him to was um, Taste of Chaos. Oh wow! We went. What a show to go to! Yeah, it was his very first show <laughs> at like a big arena. So you're and, like, what the hell is this? Yeah, it was. <laughs> he was like, he's like, I'll study up. I'll know what I'm what I'm going into. And yeah. he was just like, fell in love with the used, loved my chemical <laughs> romance. I was just like, that's right. Yeah. So I know you're my brother, and you're not adopted. It's an addiction. I mean, once you find out about these bands, because they're like vastly different than other things that you hear and that yeah. may sound like crazy to people that are not immersed in it or yeah. we're not immersed in it because i don't i think that time has kind of passed now yeah but like i feel like like the first time i heard saves today like it was just like night and day difference between yeah. like what i heard on the radio like sublime pearl jam 311 everything dc 101 plays to this yes. day and Still. overplays uh and then you hear like shoulder to the wheel saves the day and you're like what the fuck like i think my mom on? my mom probably knows just about as many emo bands as she calls them because i've really I used you to got do, her into it got her into it but like uh i was big on the mix cds oh yeah yeah, yeah. so i had like meaty amounts of cds <laughs> in my closet and i clean my closet i'm just, I'm talking like tupperware bins yeah and she's just like and she'll hear something on radio and she goes oh it's your emo stuff your emo <laughs> stuff's playing today and i'm just like <laughs> Thanks, mom. You know you love it. She also she dropped us off at the Taste of Chaos show, and then my brother came home. And she's like, "Yeah, they're pre- they're pretty good. They're all right. They're, they're all right. okay." And they're then they'd okay. be in the, both my truck and his truck, and she's like, "All right." <laughs> so I'm gonna bring this micro- microphone just slightly closer. I hope that's okay. Okay. Oh, now you're in that. Now oh, you're in. Now it. I gotta just stay up on it. Yeah. Okay. It, it, that's the thing with dynamic mics. I'm gonna I'm gonna ASMR then. <laughs> Again, ethos. There we go. There you go. Ethos water. Starbucks. Thank you guys. For and to the children who are running by and not sure what's happening. <laughs> yeah, that's like two people with we microphones. Salute you. <laughs> <laughs> really, this is a podcast for aliens and serial killers. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is. How did you <laughs> know? You just walked in and, and this is what happened. Hopefully that'll stop them from coming back by. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> What, Murders. What was like, uh, give me like a top three of the people that you were listening to at that time. Like, who was Ooh, your top three? Top three, definitely My Chemical Romance. I thought you were going to say Starlet Eyes, but it's, it's I fine. mean, obviously, Starlet Eyes, <laughs> Nonsense kidding. Flank, you know, the yeah. usuals, the, the ones that they should do a VH, on your local. VH1 story about. Just go back. I almost said VHS. God, I'm old. Um, <laughs> VH1 story about you guys. Yeah. How, how everybody just sort of like merged. It's like you guys were like flubber because like when one ended, it's like the next one began. You're like, hey, you got you doing anything now that it's over? It's like, <laughs> no, man, uh, clearly I'm not. <laughs> so if you uh, need somebody to help you out, <laughs> I'm here. I want to say like two years ago, I talked to Chops on a, on a oh Facebook God. messenger and I hadn't talked to him in years. That's nuts. I think he heard probably the podcast that it was Steven. Yeah. This is around the time where I was like figuring out what, what is this podcast? And now I'm just like, it's really whatever we want it to be. Like it's a yeah. different story every time. And we're going to, we'll dive into all of this, yeah. but uh, I think he heard that podcast and uh, we're like, yeah, we should catch up and hang out. And like, I was like, would you want to do the podcast and we can talk Starlight oh, yeah. Eyes and that whole background. And, He's like, yeah, 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 absolutely. But he's busy. I'm busy. Two years later, it's not happened yeah. yet. That's a call out. We're going to look for you later for that, Chops. Yes. Just saying. Paging Chops. <laughs> Paging Chops. <laughs> I think the last time I saw him, he was working at a uh, bike shop. 
yeah. in, in Alexandria. I don't know if he's still doing that, but I like passed him and I was just like, hey. Yeah. That was like forever ago though. So <laughs> <laughs> probably like, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't recall. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I fully gave those guys like permission in my mind to like hate me because of the way I just left. Oh, well, I mean, a lot of stuff was going on then. Yeah. So everybody was growing up really fast. Yeah. I was, uh, I was kind of like falling out of love with music for a wow. while. And then I remember we reconnected somehow, like between 07 and 2009, somehow, yeah. like we reconnected. And then like we went to a show. I remember, um, oh. Friday night boys, Friday night boys. I don't remember who else was on that show. You could have a gun either. in my head and ask I went, me. I went for the Friday night Live boys. So I was like, um, <laughs> uh, you know. And I went with uh, two friends from Baltimore and I was like, oh I remember my God. that. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's where we reconnected. Cause I was just like, and you're like, uh, yeah, I know them <laughs> quite well. And I'm like, Oh, sweet. I yeah. still have that drumstick. You still have the drumstick. Yes, I do. I still have the photo that you took of Chris and I, he was sweaty without a shirt. And here as, I was with a shirt. He is. Yes. Cause now he's a lifeguard or he was. Yeah, I so think he he's is, he's shirtless a lot. <laughs> well, I know he's a father now. Yeah, and he's Beautiful managing kids. a gym. I lo- I, so that's the only thing is, I'm, I'm not I'm not against kids. Yeah, love kids are great. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like terrified of children because you know they're the future and all that jazz. But everybody on Facebook keeps having babies, and I'm like, why are your kids so freaking adorable? Yes. Like they're probably terrorists, but also. <laughs> You got you got cute kids. Yeah. Cute kids out there. I'll stick with my dog who just only cost me a few hundred dollars. So, and yeah. He, and he's not he's got no plans for college. Cheaper so. than a kid. Yeah. You don't have to pay the, yeah. the college money. I'm going to start him young and get him a job and then <laughs> we'll be OK. Maybe yeah. a, maybe a model. Maybe I'll be like a pageant mom for my dog. So there you go. Yeah. There you go. But you're not ruling it out. It's in other nah. words, one day. Yeah. It could happen. Yeah. Maybe it'd take a lot of convincing, but maybe or, or an uh oh, then <laughs> you never. Oopsies. Yeah. You never know. My mom would love that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Mothers, she, I feel love that. They, they just want you to have all the babies. Yeah, she's just, she's just really, she's about the grandkids because yeah. eventually she's like how I found out is, uh, they love grandkids because eventually you leave. Yeah. And you, so they, they're like, oh, I'm going to pinch their cheeks and love on them for like, an hour and a half and then you have to leave you have to go to your home where they can wreck and refuse to go to sleep yeah so, so. and i guess from like the woman's perspective it's like hey mom i'm the one that actually has to like hold yeah. the child like yeah. and give birth to the child if i if i hadn't had all the surgeries i had then yeah. i'd been like man this would be so much easier but having <laughs> gastric and then having skin removal and all that having a child i better be like in the best shape of my freaking life yeah i'm talking like marathon running weightlifting kind of shape because Surgery is, it's a cakewalk for me, but I'm also like, it's so much work. Well, you've definitely done some amazing things. And, yeah. and I definitely want to talk about that because uh, that's kind of a lot of what I do here now. Yeah. It's kind of weird, right? I mean, like. But you support it and that's good. You, no, I, I you support, support everybody. A, yeah. You, there's a lot of people, you, you get hit or miss online a lot. So really looking for support groups and things like that. I know in the beginning it was not supportive. Where wherever I was looking, and I was yeah. just like, because a lot of people say, "Oh, you took the easy way," and I'm just like, I literally lost my job because I was on medical leave, and I was at yeah. the job for 12 years. Wow! And they were just like, I mean, they sucked, but also, I I wasn't recovering as quickly as I wanted to. Sure. And they were like, "Well, it's been a real 12 years." Yeah. So I can imagine. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'll just sit here with nothing. And right. just think about it, which, <laughs> which is something I'm popping out of now, trying to get back into like the physicality of working out and stuff. So sure. you got to work through that uh, mental affliction. It, uh, it'll, it'll get you. I, I spent about a month this past month in depression land and yeah. it's not fun. <laughs> my, my mom, cause, uh, I have, um, a PTSD diagnosis and, um, uh, I'm, I have a high functioning anxiety diagnosis. And I've had depression since I was a teenager. Yeah. And she's kind of falling into that realm of depression where Mm. she's like, doesn't want to do anything. Doesn't want to like, she doesn't want to sleep, but she just wants to lay down. And yeah. And she's just like, I don't know what's wrong with me. And I'm just like, welcome to my seminar. This is my TED talk about how you might have depression. (laughs) You might have depression. But but, you know, it's, it's, if you got it, you you own it and you, you either let it rock you or you rock in. So yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of what I do. I'm just like, I'll have a, like at a left field panic attack in like a Sears. And I'm just like looking at vacuums and my mom's just like, what's going on? You're sweating. I'm like, 
it happens. Yeah, it's just, just going through something. Yeah. I was like, it's an episode and we're just going to dial it back. And there's a good chance I might just eat all of the snacks in my pocket and we're going to get through it together. Exactly. So we'll, we'll make it through. Yeah. <laughs> I try anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we can do. Yeah. Well, I, you talk about having the surgery and all that, but I think probably a, a good place to go is like, what, what gets us to that point? Like, you know, um, growing up with grandparents, yeah, <laughs> my, my grandparents were, uh, we were pretty much raised with my grandparents. My yeah. mom, we lived in Woodbridge Okay, and I went to school up here yeah. and we were registered under their house up here. And so we stayed there. My mom went to work, picked us up, stuff like that. And like, she would just food makes you happy here's yeah. food like but because my mom has like eight siblings so they came from a house where wow. they, they weren't rocking in like the super veggies they were just like here's a bag of chips here's a candy bar Rome, do your thing your <laughs> exercise is riding that bike which i also cannot ride a bike anymore which is weird because they say once you learn you never forget i forgot i don't know you what forgot. happened yeah i don't know i think i had trauma i'm not sure i haven't been on one in probably 15 years i can do a uh, stationary yeah but other than that <laughs> it's, it's i've tried it's people are like you should just try i'm like i have yeah I'm like, i can't commit to it <laughs> but uh no i was uh i i i was kind of just like eating like i could have anything i wanted and then yeah. you get into high school and you're just like you don't really know what why people are like ew gross and you're just like i don't really i was never one of those kids that's like oh my god i'm overweight everybody thinks i'm disgusting and ugly i never really associated the two okay but it was more so that i couldn't i couldn't run yeah and that kind of it made, embarrassed me so sure. i was just like and then i got like a twenty thousand pound chest in middle school so that wasn't great because that also hindered the whole running thing i can imagine and then uh i got thyroid disease okay and they're like, yeah, until we get that fixed, you can try, you can eat nothing, you can eat just veg, you can do whatever, you're not going to lose the weight unless you do twice as much. But I didn't have the energy. Yeah. So I got about to 270 pounds. Okay. And they're like, here's the thing. You've got a history in your family of heart disease. You are either going to have to have a heart surgery at 30 or you're going to have to get the weight off somehow. Yes. And here's how you do it. Cause everybody was doing that lap band thing. Yeah. 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 My aunt had that done and then it was a nightmare for her. Really? It's Cause she just, well, she also, she wasn't, she was like, Ooh, sweet. Start over. Oh, and, yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. and I was just like, you can't. What happens to it? Like when you have too much, um, you throw up. Okay. Yeah. It's immediate. It I was just like nightmares of like just exploding or something. It, it probably could. Yeah. That's why, cause they were like, well, there's no, they only had the science for like so many years and you're putting a foreign object in your body. So I was sure. like, I yeah. don't know how I feel about that. Cause yeah. I just think something's going to rust. Something's going to go. <laughs> and then like, right. yeah. And then you're just gonna be like in the middle of like a Chipotle having your veggie bowl and then feel like you're dying. And then everybody's going to be like, blame it on the guac. And I don't want that for Chipotle. Never. No. Chipotle is life. Also, Moe's just poisoned me. So we're going to we're going to push the Chipotle angle. Really? Yes. Hold on. Sidebar here. So this is what <laughs> I do. I go off on sidebars. I actually like Moe's. What happened? They, I love Moe's. It just wasn't fresh. They, it, it Literally, the rice was stuck together in like clumps like they had taken it out of the freezer mm. and like put it in the bowl and put it in the microwave. And I was so upset. And I didn't get my beans. My beans were wrong. I was like, <sighs> And then I got immediately sick. I was like, what happened to this ball? You ruined it. You know, like no when you get sick off something, you can't like, you yeah. know, you just like, why didn't I just drink good vodka and better orange juice? <laughs> yeah. Sidebar to your sidebar. Okay. I tried to prove a point once to yeah. Adam Crane. Shout out to Adam Crane. Oh, what's up? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when I was younger, 21, absolutely. And I, we were having a party. And I bought two bottles of VNO and he's like, let me get one of those. And I was like, no, you didn't pay for it. And he's like, you're not going to drink them all. I was like, watch me. It's the first time I've ever blacked out in my life. <laughs> I was like, mistakes were made. Yeah. <laughs> I called my mom at like four in the morning. I was like, can you just come get me? <laughs> I didn't have shoes. You sounded exactly like that. It, it, yeah. I walked out and it was snowing and I didn't have shoes or what a the, purse. And she's like, what the fuck? Yeah. And I'm like, just go. Just go home. She kind of like understanding at this yeah, time. Like, she, she knew. She I was always it. very honest with my mom. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, yeah, don't do that. And then I couldn't <laughs> drink orange juice for like a decade. I was like, 
No orange juice for a decade? For a decade. I was like, I, I love the citrus, but I couldn't do it for a decade. <sighs> so also, I, I hate Adam Crane, but I also love him because yeah. he taught me a lesson while I tried to teach him a lesson, which is don't be greedy. There you go. <laughs> Another sidebar. Have you seen or heard from this guy? <laughs> <laughs> we just take it all over the place. Uh, yeah, he also just got engaged. Shout out to them; they're great. Um, oh, congratulations! Have not met her, but she seems lovely. So yeah, yeah. But uh, back to being um, overweight and young. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> I uh, I was like, I don't want, I don't want a heart thing. I don't want to, I don't want that huge ass scar. Yeah, that's just a whole lot. And uh, so I was like, all right, then what do I do to get this gastric surgery and they're like, well, first you got to lose like 20 pounds. I'm like, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> thanks for, uh, thanks for showing up. They always <laughs> make you lose a little bit before you go in there. Yeah. And it's just like, so I was doing what I was normally doing, which is just regular dieting and exercise. And then they give you like these milk boxes of yeah. like protein and that's all you can have. And I was like, now I'm not, I don't hate milk, but I also, yeah. I'm just like, I would like to have a Twix with this sure. or just like a cookie they're or like something. Nothing. Yeah. They're like, no, just drink your little stupid juice box and shut up. And I'm and like, here, here we were just talking about Chipotle too. Like, yeah. no. And how long was this for? For like, two weeks. Cause I was like, I did well in the first week and they're like, we're going to add two more weeks on it. Cause you're not quite there. And I'm like, okay. Mm. So did that. And then went in for the surgery, which they also do a psyche valve for that, yeah. which I was like, Oh, okay. That lady sucked. Like, yeah. It's been a long time, so I doubt that she's out there still doing that job. If she is, you're awful. But uh, she was like, she she. I met her, and I was just she's like, why are you doing this? I was like, because my doctor said it's this or my my chest. And yeah, I'm having a lesser two evils, and she's just like, cool, cool, cool. What do you do for fun? And I'm like, I like hang out with my with my family. I spend a lot of time with my grandma. Cause she's yeah. a badass, and she's just like, you spend too much time with your family. They're holding you back. And I'm like. What the heck? Wow, I'm that's like, pretty heavy. And my mom was like, she had brought me to the appointment. And I came out, I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> and she's like, what she said? I'm like, you don't want to know. Because you might fight that lady. I was like, because yeah. I wanted to fight that lady. I'm, I'm, but, I'm ready to fight somebody. Yeah, I was like, I was like, okay, cool. Thanks for the uh, synopsis on my life. But uh, <laughs> I um, went and had the surgery, which was also funny because uh, – it was the first like major surgery I had. Yeah. My, my mom was there <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm, I got used to doing needles. Not, well, not like that. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> because I had thyroid disease, I had my blood taken a lot for yeah. checkups <laughs> and uh, I am not a habitual drug user <laughs> of any kind. Um, but like they were trying to get an IV in yeah. and I was just sitting there, let her do her thing. She insisted on doing it her way sure and my mom's like in the corner doing mortal Kombat. like she's like waiting for the fatality symbol and like i'm like you good and she's like yeah i'm good and the lady turned around she goes oh you're gonna faint <laughs> i'm like i'm just like okay uh what's going on yeah. so my mom's about to pass out on the floor in the middle of me like going into surgery i wake up and the first thing i do i'm like are you good yeah and she's just like I'm fine. She's like, are you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm great. I was worried about you, mom. Yeah, What's going I'm like, on? I'm like, the last thing I saw was you doing Mortal Kombat and I, I woke up doing Mortal Kombat. So I'm like, would you like pass it on to me? But it was good. Surgery went good. Cause they have like the robot thing. Yeah. So it's like, you get three scars and then they're like very small. And, and how long does it take? Like a couple hours? It, yeah, it takes a few hours. It's not, but it's not like super long or anything. Um, I can't believe they have robots though. Like, yeah, I know. I was like, I was suspect. I was just like, mm. do they like show you a video? Like, do you yeah. get to see it afterwards? That's my thing is I've had so many surgeries that I always, my mom hates it. I always YouTube it. Oh wow. And I'm just like, I got to know. Like I had my LASIK and I was, yeah. she's like, why are you watching this? And I'm like, I got to know. I was like, you ever seen Final Destination where the bitch loses her eye? It's just ridiculous. You get lasered. I was like, I got to know how to prepare myself if I have to karate chop this doctor, you know? So, <laughs> so I, I watch all those. I was like, oh, this seems mad simple. Like, wow. and it was. And then you, you wake up and I woke up actually in the recovery room and some lady, something didn't go well for her. She was okay. screaming. Wow. She was hurting. And I was like, somebody needs to help her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm help good. her. Yeah, like, I was just like, I'm going to throw up. And they're like, no, you're not. I'm like, good talk. Help her. Yeah. <laughs> like you convinced me. I'm good. But, uh, <laughs> she, but I, I got out and they're like, okay, well you, you can't do this, that, and the other thing. Couldn't eat bread. Yeah. Couldn't drink. Um, 
like 30 minutes before or after a meal. Had to take sips. Wow. Uh, I'm more of a, I hate pain meds. Yeah. So, because anytime I took a pain med, I like, I go cross-eyed. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm stuck in this bed. And I can't do anything. So, But I did that. And I got down to, I'm like 200 pounds now. Awesome. I went back up. I was in like the 190s. And I was like. It I, happens though. Yeah. I'm just like, man, that tent goes quick. Yeah. Like fall starts happening everybody puts pumpkin out there and yeah. I'm just like oh, I'm eating cookies and cakes and people don't understand that and they like lose their shit they're like oh my god I'm a failure I suck yeah and that's it's the like, thing no, is like you don't like I used to be one of those people that's like if if I like ate something bad I'd be like oh well this whole week's screwed so I'll just be a fuck up this entire week yeah. and then I'll start again next week and I'm just like it's a Monday it's like relax yeah, like there's another, there's another day tomorrow you can start over or you can just start right now and not be a piece of garbage the yeah, rest of the day stop right now or be a piece of garbage the rest of the day. you're entitled yeah. to do that as long as you moderate it and you're not like I'm gonna eat this entire pizza because <laughs> my mom my mom like she was a big advocate for me just like she's always been very conscious about her weight and stuff which she still is because she's short yeah um, but she was like, I used to be one of those kids that got like a 12 inch sub Yeah, and I was, I hadn't hit that growth spur yet. So she's yeah. just like, how do you, where do you put all of it? And I'm just like, I don't know. I just eat till I feel like I'm going to die. And then <laughs> and she's just like, cool, cool, cool. And she, but as I got older, it's just like, she's just like, you can't. Yeah, you can't do that, man. She's just like, because that's not like, that's not like the, the hard bar you set for when you eat. She's like, just eat until you're like. All right. She's like, there's this thing called leftovers. And I'm like, that's true. That's true. You make a good point. Start carrying there, Tupperware. <laughs> there are times though where like the next day it's just not as good. Definitely not a Subway sandwich. That's for sure. No way. You can't eat that the next day. Ugh. No way. Pizza, I, you can eat anytime. I'll, I'll eat pizza if it's in the rain. Like I don't eat good shit. I love pizza. <laughs> team, Tacos I used to love, but. Team cold pizza or. Oh, team pizza lukewarm, pizza cold. I mean, I've right. eaten a frozen bagel bite. That was weird, but I enjoyed it. I haven't I mean, tried that yet. <laughs> you got a hole in your hand, get that, <laughs> that palm warmth. <laughs> Just, just to break the ice off of it a little bit. Yeah, I used to be that kid. Wow. But uh, yeah, no, you do what you got to do. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The hell with that two or three minutes. I want my bagel bite yeah. right now. <laughs> you know how long it takes to make a good tray of bagel bites? Like, who's got that time? If I'm yeah. running out the door with my 13 bagel bites, they need to be here now. So you just put them under your shirt, let them get warm for a little bit. <laughs> as long as they don't crack your teeth, they're delicious. <laughs> I've never, I've never even thought to have them like that. That is like, this is like a new revelation. You're like turning me on to something new, although I can't have pizza right now. So like, I mean, also probably bad habits you don't want to like pick up or well, anything no. I say. <laughs> don't ever do that. Don't, don't make a s'more over the gas stove. It's quick. It's efficient, but it's dangerous. <laughs> really? Yes. Have you, have you nearly lit your house on fire? Uh, no, but it's a gas stove, so you're just inhaling all of that. And I'm just like, man, I really should figure out a different way to do this. My brother's like, microwave. It's right there you here. Go. But I'm it gonna, doesn't seem as quite as good, right? Roasted. It's just like I'm gonna explode. And I'm yeah, like, it's not like, gonna. I'm a I'm a s'more fan. I'll eat anything s'more. Yeah. Yeah. I like a, I like a good s'more, but it has chocolate on it, so that's off the table right oh, now. Oh God. The things that you limit right now make me sad. I know, but like, here's the thing at the end of the year, I'm like, maybe I just don't go back. But also I am the devil that like sits on your shoulder and gives you a bad rotary cup. So <laughs> don't listen to me. Cause you're just like, why does my shoulder hurt so bad? It's cause you got like a 200 pound angel just sitting there. It's got the horns. It's like, I'm not really I'm here I'm to help. see like this, this little DM pop up chocolate now. It's like, check this sweet s'mores cake out. And you're like, you're the <laughs> devil. <laughs> That's me all day. I don't think, though, that you could do s'mores out of chocolate because I was just thinking, like, well, maybe. But then you're just eating a marshmallow on, like, a graham cracker. Like, yeah, needs that, I mean, right? I can still probably handle that. Well, like, yeah, I found in graham crackers in my brother's cabin today while I was babysitting. I was like, man, I wonder if he's got, like, <laughs> stuff. Up. And then I found chocolate sauce and I was like, just get out of hand. I got to calm down. <laughs> I got a kid around here. I got to set examples. He's over here eating rainbow candy at. 9 a.m. Yeah, because I'm a terrible babysitter, but he loves me, so that's all that matters. I've well, won the effects you of get a child. On the good side, you know. Exactly. I'm sister Ashley. He he uh, he has a lot of. It's like my brother's daddy Justin and yeah. his mom and his actual dad. But he like he'll hear you say, "Oh, well, this is my dad." Yeah, and then he says, "Oh, hi, dad." 
So he calls my dad grandpa. And, well, he called my mom grandpa for a little bit. And we were like, what's going on there? But I'm sister Ashley. So I've never felt more in touch with God there since go. meeting him. So I feel like my grandma would really be pumped about it. You're missing the whole get up though. Yeah, I, I know. They definitely locked the doors on me. So but I, he's great. I love him. He's, yeah. he's definitely. And I, I'm like, yeah, now I got to get in shape. I told my mom that the first week that I uh, took care of him. Cause like we went to the park and stuff and yeah, the kids can freaking run. They're about that cardio life and i'm just like i have to like like super sand kick a kid to get to him and i'm just like i like see grown adults like i'm like crawling under the bridge to get to him so he doesn't fly yeah. off the slide and i'm like what is happening i'm so out of shape like, i focus so hard on the eating right that sure the exercise well, that's where it starts gets, i think yeah it starts it's like a three-point process it's like it starts up here first and then it starts here yeah and then it starts here and I'm, I'm, I'm like talking to you and showing you all this and nobody knows what the hell I just did. So um, he was doing movements. So he's talking about, he's doing head, shoulders, knees and toes right now. Yeah. Something so like that. Yeah. I'm all, like, I'm all over the place. Yeah. Just know that there's cardio involved and you're going to hate it, but then you're going to love it. So get over it. How long, how long do you wait before you're like medically clear to like do anything? It's a couple weeks. Uh, after the gastric, they were like, um, maybe like two weeks because wow. it was like a non-invasive I mean they used the machine so there wasn't a whole lot of trauma sure but sure. I had this sweet pain ball that was like it was like a tube running inside Ooh. the incision and it was just like a bag I put on my shoulder my mom hated it because she's just like that's inside of your body right now <laughs> oh my god which is hilarious because we don't ask my dad to do a lot of things medically because we just don't because yeah you're just taking you cut him a break you're, you're taking a, a chance there's a good chance he's gonna get WD-40 it's gonna be bad okay that could be really bad yes so at the at the time they're like alright it's time to remove your pain ball do you have to do it at home so you have to pull a tube out of your body and my mom's like it resisted she immediately broke down into tears my brother's one of those hey I like to pick scabs and like pop blisters so he's like I'll do it and I'm like you're a sadist relax and my dad's just like well can I help and we're like I'm just like oh, God. and I just pulled it out and my mom's just like oh god but I was able to like with the gastric it was more about the get your lifestyle change like sure, eat, yeah, yeah, yeah. figure out what you're eating do that moderate all that and I, it just started to kind of like melt away and I was yeah. like oh well that that is kind of easy but then it's just like once you get into that pe- where you like kind of like when you lose a bunch of weight and then you kind of plateau yeah it's like oh okay now I gotta exercise yeah by the time that started and I was like exercising every day I had so much loose skin that I was like I couldn't feel it yeah 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 and I got a dog yeah and they're like I, he started biting my skin with his razor teeth as a, as a puppy wow didn't feel it so I, was, I got an infection in oh, the skin no. and I was like Man, they're like, you really need to figure that out. What you want to do? And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm, put some Nina's point on a bandaid. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I'm Seems pretty get, simple here. We're gonna get rid of the dog, like. Yeah. <laughs> but um, they're like, you should think about skin removal, and I'm like, no, I don't know about that. I've never been huge on like latex outfits, so yeah. the the fact that they'd be like getting rid of skin and then like <sighs> sucking yeah. it all up, like I was I was uncomfortable with it, and then the more he started to bite and stuff I'm like I didn't even realize because I bruise easy I'm a pale girl okay <laughs> I, some, some might say translucent okay so when I bruise my mom would be like you gotta you gotta lock that down so and how much loose skin are we talking about I mean um well I don't know if they do it by weight I know that I, I could hold it like yeah um like I could I accidentally zipped it up in my jeans once because I do like high waisted jeans and that was a problem because I had like a Mary, uh, God, old movie. Something about Mary moment oh, where, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, where yeah. I was just like, uh, why can I feel that suddenly? And my mom's just like, oh, that's so bad. So <laughs> it was that bad, huh? Yeah. So I was like, okay, this we gotta we gotta figure this out. Yeah. I went in. And he was just like, he's like, yeah, it'd be simple. He's like, boop, 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 boop. and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> terrifying. It's gotta be painful though. Um, it was more uncomfortable than painful okay. after. Um, also, we couldn't figure out why my back hurt so bad because I, I have a bad back to begin with. But I called and I was just like, "Is there any reason why my back hurt?" He's like, "Oh, we gave you free lipo on your back, just just cause." And I was like, Th- "Thank you, I guess." <laughs> Which my mom's like, "You should see your back. It looks like you got like a thousand drop kicks to your spine." <laughs> I was oh my like, "God." I was like, "Okay," because I was because <clears throat> you can't you couldn't do anything because at that, that you had to be still. 
because yeah. when they remove the skin, and I know this is gross and all that, but you have to be so like laid flat and chill that your skin heals back to the muscle, mm. which was lovely because they yeah. also put tubes in me and it was like collecting the juices. I remember when I went to go visit Lexi and Danny in DC and that was like days after her surgery. And so she had the little, ooh, the little pouches. Yeah. The little uh, yeah. fluid collectors. She's like, come in for a hug. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to kill you. So here. You're just like, boop, boop, and you yeah. pat the pouches. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, doing great. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, those sucked. Um, I bet. But, uh, like, I mean, that's how kind of I got my relove or my uh, reborn love for wrestling because I was like in a bed and I couldn't read because the pain meds. Yeah. Because they put me to sleep. I could stay out of pain. And I was just like, well, what am I going to do? WWE Network. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just like, sweet. Uh, I'll just uh, catch up on old stuff. Catch up on new stuff. Got a piece of trash for Total Divas. And I was just like, I'm going to marathon all of this and find out what's going on. And I was like, you know who's great? Daniel Bryan. Love him. Yeah. Love him. So great. What year was this, by the way, when you were doing all this? I'm trying oh, to figure man. out what you're watching. Um, well, then it was at least two years ago, three years ago. Uh. Doing that, I'm terrible at math. So 2016, yeah. 2000. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was, I was just watching all that. And then I was watching, and then my brother's like, you watch wrestling again? And I'm like, yeah. And he's just like, that's great. And then my cousin, who's, he was raised like my little brother. And yeah. he was just like, you ever a new Japan wrestling? And it was just like <laughs> new Japan. And then he's just like giving me all like the indies. So did and, you used to watch it when you were younger and you just stopped? Oh, or? No, my, my brother was huge WWF fan. Like, I don't know if I'm gross. legally allowed to stuff? say that, but yeah. yeah, when it was an F and not an E, but, uh, no one will come after you. Okay, good. They'll just sue me. Did okay. you hear what happened on the CM Punk podcast? Like he talked all this smack about WWE and Colt Cabana got sued for it. What? So it'll, it'll all come on me. It's fine. I got your back. Please don't sue Gary. <laughs> <laughs> because the pandas not, are coming for me. Oh, God. I was, I, you know, I bought a Sammy Guevara freaking vlog shirt just to piss you off. <laughs> so I could just be like, you know, who's got the number one vlog? <laughs> not you, Gary. That's just because your team beat mine. Oh, God. Was, We're going I was back so to this salty. Now. I was so salty. I was just like, I got to I gotta represent Sammy Guevara. Of all people, I have to represent him because he's the only person that still does vlogs. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, I. I, I haven't even done a vlog lately. I need to get up on that. It's well, been a he's while. coming for the title. <laughs> so. Oh, he's already there. He's got like twenty three thousand subs. Yeah, I think. but it's, yeah, let's be real though. People show up because he looks good. He does look very good. Yeah. I can say that comfortably. I wish. I wish he had more wrestling clips in his vlogs, which yeah. I th think is weird. Yeah, he's a good looking dude, but you can only look at somebody for so long, and then you're just like, "Hey, man, you want to do something?" Like, show me a highlight reel yeah. here, kid. I don't. I want to see what happens. This he's like, "I'm at the match," and I'm like, "Cool." And it's like, "All right, the match is done." I'm like, well, "What the shit?" Like, I, I did recently subscribe to him. Like, I started watching his vlogs. Yeah, <laughs> mostly out of spite because your team's awful. <laughs> they are. They well, they were awful. To be fair, Derek Carr is actually a really good quarterback. He got injured three years ago. <laughs> He started playing like Cole Trickle would drive in Days of Thunder after the crash where he got scared. Awesome reference. You get that reference? Fuck yeah, I get that reference. Come on, Harry. Jesus. <sighs> okay, put it there. <laughs> no, I, I have a I have the movie poster hanging up in my office. Every time my brother wants to drive like an idiot, he's just like, I'm going in the inside. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> he's like, a cold trickle through all that traffic. And I'm like, yeah, we almost died. This is what he's saying. We almost okay, died. Okay, this is amazing right now. <laughs> I actually just saw, what was that movie, Jexy? And they made a Days oh, of Thunder reference. Did they? Yes. So rare. They had, it was, it was, uh, what's his name? Adam Devine and his two people from work. And they were like talking like Days of Thunder people. Like they had like the, they had, they actually dressed as them for Halloween. Oh my God. That's it was awesome. Aw it was awesome. Now I guess you almost have to man. go see the movie just for that. I probably will now. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'll not illegally stream it. Yeah. Well, you know. There's that too. <laughs> you're really trying to get me sued is what you're trying to do. They're going to come after me. Just kidding. I will, I will be a paying patron <laughs> as soon as I get a job. There you go. <laughs> I'm but, working on it. But no, Derek Carr, he, he, he got injured and I felt like he was called trickle. Like he was afraid to play at full speed. And so for like the last two years, he's like just been bad. He, he found a, a doctor, Nicole Kidman. Yeah. He, okay. Well, I'll give you the wrestling reference. He lost his smile. Oh. I think he found it again, though. 
Well, that's probably good. I mean, we beat y'all's ass. I mean, yeah, so but like, say, I'm not happy for you at all. I mean, I'm happy for that guy, but I, I still hate you. <laughs> Why is it going to be me? Just hate them. Because you were rooting for them. You, you jinxed me, and I wasn't in a position to wear my jersey, so I double jinxed, and then I lost. But normally when I wear the jersey, it's bad luck, but I wear it anyway because I'm like, well, when the hell else am I going to wear this thing? That's kind of like my dad. He's a... Sadly, sadly, a Redskins fan since the beginning of time. Like his man cave, like half of it. My brother used to live downstairs. He's a Giants fan, yeah. which is also, I just got acid reflux. Uh, <laughs> half of it, half of it's painted in Redskins colors and the other half is painted in Giants colors. I was like, this is the stupidest thing, but it also looks really good. Your house so. sounds really confusing. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, where are you guys from? We don't know. Yeah. We're just, we just kind of <laughs> hang out. Somebody was like, why are you here for Chicago? I'm like, why not? I'm like, when when you guys were like, I have to pick between these two, I was like, no, I'm going to pick my own. I just happened to pick the Bears. Yeah. That was a terrible mistake. Because then we had Jay Cutler, who was awful, awful quarterback. Yeah. Awful. Great person. Okay. Just recently watched his wife's show, and he's hilarious. And I was like, <laughs> man, I hated you as a human being for so long. But you got Khalil Mack from us. Yeah, that's he's true. He's really good. Yeah, he's good. Bomb.com. <sighs> we lost all of our good players when Erlacher left, and... Why do you pick the Bears? How do you land on the Bears? Like, you just like their colors or you like their logo? I, 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 was, I honestly, I like Bears. Okay. My dog's name's Yogi Bear, bro. Like There you go. There you go. No, I, I, when I was a kid, I used to pick my favorite teams by the logos. And so when I was a kid, it was the Raiders. And then somehow it went to like the 49ers for whatever reason back when they were winning. I guess that's <laughs> coincidence or not. A million years ago. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then Redskins and then back to Raiders. So I, I, I flip flop a little bit. I'll admit it. I honestly, I got in. To the Bears when um, I was a huge uh, the Academy is fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're from Chicago. Oh, and I was okay. like, it's a great place. And then have you been there? No, never. Never been there. Never, never been, been, there. been there. It's too close to Michigan. Yeah, it's it's just like real cold. Well, I guess if you go in the summer, it's not so bad. Though. I don't know. It seems like it's always cold. <laughs> I also hate Michigan. So, <laughs> what do you have against Michigan? I dated a guy from Michigan. Oh, okay, there he you sucked. Go. So I was just like, F that whole state. Yeah. Well, so, my dad and I have beef, so he lived in California. I hate California. Oh, okay. Well, so then there you, you go. just throw out the whole damn state. Yeah. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> and then you moved to somebody. Vegas. I guess I'm not supposed to go there anymore well, either. I, I, I don't hate Vegas. Vegas makes me sad. I went to Vegas once. Yeah. And it was just sad. I was like, this is where people go when their dreams die. Like, <laughs> you like you have like a pocket full of money. And you're like, I'm going to go gamble. And then you lose. And then you just walk around and people are drinking. And it's like three in the afternoon. And they're yeah. wasted. There's a guy selling weed on the corner for like a buck. And I'm like, that's not weed. That can't be weed. Yeah. I no saw way. so many boobs unsolicited. They're just hanging out. And I was like, do your thing. Guy looked like Zach Galifianakis. And I was just like, that's not Zach Galifianakis. I don't know why he looks so much like Zach Galifianakis, but I'm terrified. Try being a guy sitting playing the machine, and then this attractive woman walks up to you. Oh my God. And it's like, oh, well, she's definitely not here to actually talk to me. She must want something. So, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Did you need something? Can I help you? <laughs> I mean, I probably can, but. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you want money in my pocket my, for services. Uh, I went with my aunt and my cousin, and. Uh, <laughs> We went, oh God, shit. Uh, she, um, we were like, let's get tattoos. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, we were pumped. We were getting tattoos. And then it was like one of those, oh, we only do stencils. Oh. Like you had to pick it out of a book. And I was like, mm. you wanted something a little more custom. Yeah. I don't want something that I can like pick off a screen. And I'm like, yeah, print that out and put that on me. Cause <laughs> I mean, I can do that myself, I guess. But uh, what, what was your last tattoo you got? Um, for my grandma on my arm. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's the guy was watching a show while he was doing it. So, oh. but I was I was so mentally wrecked then. I was just like just drilling on my arm. That's fine. When did you get that? Uh, she died in 2016, 17, something like that. Not too long ago, but uh, I, that kind of wrecked me because yeah, she I was like, imagine. yeah, she was my best friend and. I, when, when she got sick, it, she just kind of plummeted really quickly. And yeah. I was there every day taking care of her. And I was there when she died. And it just kind of fucked me up. And sure. uh, I was just like, yeah, let's get something. And at first, I just got the pretty lady part because that's what I called her. Yeah. And then I was just like, oh, that pain helped. So I'll yeah. just go back and get whatever. Get and, another one, right? Yeah. And then <laughs> the guy was just like, oh, do you mind if I watch my show? He was like streaming like the killing. On oh, my the God. And he was just like. I was like, oh, okay, well, 
Rock and roll. Do you it seemed think? like it turned out okay. I <laughs> yeah, guess. I mean, yeah. it's it's all right. It could it could use a little bit of touching up, but uh, sure. But at that point, I was just kind of like, it's it doesn't matter. I was just doing it for the feeling. But um, well, if you no. want to see faded, I'll show you faded. My one and only tattoo. I That's love faded. It. I, you know, when I met you, I was just like, he's probably the only person that I, that I know that knows that that's a heartogram. Like, yeah. big him fan back in the day. Well, I'm glad that you said it because everybody came up to me asking about Bam Margera. I know, not lately. Yeah. But I, that's the way I, 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 that's the first time I saw it was a was a Bam Margera thing. And then yeah, I was yeah, just that's like, that's how I got into it. And then yeah. you, and then you find out, oh, it's a band. It's not a him thing. Or it's not a him thing. It's not a Bam thing. It's not his thing. Yeah. But it's an actual <laughs> him thing. Yeah. And I was like obsessed with him. Oh, they're and, amazing. Man, I Billy Ballow all show. day. I was loving him. I saw their last show at the Fillmore. So it was it was the last tour. Yeah. Um, and they were just, they were phenomenal. I would have loved to see them live. I never got to see them live. Never? No. They only oh. came around like maybe four or five times like yeah. out of the, all the times they were like a band. And I yeah. saw them like three times. They were overseas times. a lot. Yeah. So I was like, hey, I'm not going to get out there. <laughs> yeah. Probably like I was Canada. So. They're, they're from Finland. And so they, I mean, over there, they could sell out stadiums like two or three days yeah. in a row. I used, I used to see. That's crazy. But no, they were great. I was like, I was like in middle school, like walking yeah. with my freaking CD on the way home in my Walkman like on the way home just like yeah just like straight up music video style walking to my grandma I was like yeah fuck yeah so cool you used to walk like you were in a music video oh hell yeah I've done that a million times anybody that says they don't do that is a goddamn liar or they have no imagination (laughs) because uh, you know you have conversations with yourself in the shower you know that you play things out and you're just like yeah I had that fight once and I just was like yo do something about it bitch and you're like yeah. you know you didn't say that because it was a lady at a grocery store and you're not going to cause a scene at a grocery store <laughs> buying your groceries relax Jesus Christ I probably spend half the day talking to myself sometimes oh all day I'm, yeah. I'm my best company which is probably why I'm <laughs> perpetually single so because <laughs> I'm just like you know what why why not just hang out with me all day why not yeah, I'm also a super cheap date because I can't eat now because of the gastric <laughs> I, re- I had somebody take me to a sushi once and they got all this food and I'm like I had like one thing I was like mm. yeah it's like a little bite I'm like delicious and they're like what are you gonna I'm like no I am not <laughs> but thank you <laughs> I remember the last time I saw my ex, we were exchanging stuff and I asked her cause she had the surgery and I'm like, you know, what is that like? And she's like, well, my boyfriend took me out to like a steakhouse and I literally had like the six ounce steak and I ate it like over three days. Yeah. It's like that's, <laughs> and that's the thing is like sides are out. Like, yeah. Anything, and then you get, which is always fun, is if you eat too much sugar, you get the dumps. Oh, boy. And it's not how it seems. It's not like yeah. you're sitting on the toilet all day. It's You get, like, instant flu. You feel nauseous, and you oh get the sweats. Yeah, it's just like you go into, like, instant hot flashes, and you're about to pass out. You're like, what the fuck is happening? I just ate an Oreo. Like, what the fuck? And you're talking about, like, just one, like, singular Oreo. Well, no, that's an exaggeration. But, <laughs> okay. like, if you, like, for a long time, I couldn't drink, like, any kind of, like, coffee, like a Starbucks coffee or yeah. a Panera, anything, because it's just so much sugar in it that you don't realize how much sugar's in things. And yeah, then you eat it, and you're like, look. I want to die. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> that's my aunt that had the, uh, the um, she had the, aunt, band. I had the sleeve. She had the band first through yeah. every day. I worked with her. And she'd, like, come in with, like, this large, like, coffee from Dunkin' Donuts and, like, whatever else. And she'd drink it, and then she'd immediately go, blah, blah. And I'm just like, you good? You need me to get you anything? Yeah. <laughs> every day, without fail. Wow. So they were like, all right, let's take that out. Took that out. And then I did the sleeve, nailed it, crushed it, did awesome. And then she's yeah. like, I'm going to get the sleeve. And I was like, you should, because. You can go back and do another one? Well, they go, because it's like, because the sleeve ultimately <coughs> removes all of the stretched stomach. Because apparently your stomach's like as big as your fist. Yeah. And then when you, over time, it expands or whatever. Uh, the lap band is like, we're just going <laughs> to like pop up. Red yeah. on the end of it here, so it's like stop eating so much, or you're gonna throw up. <laughs> so it was like ultimately like a throw up machine. Yeah. And then uh, she was using it as such. She's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna crush these donuts, and then I'm gonna throw up. And I'm like, yeah. that seems like an eating disorder, but <laughs> that's just me saying. Uh, yeah, it might be. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't think I'd be able to do the sleeve, and I was just like, I don't have an option. Like, yeah. So I did the sleeve, and I immediately had to go to a sweet sixteen for my cousin that I had to make the cake for. And oh I was boy. like, that's going to be tough. I was like, this is a nightmare. And so I sat there and I ate my like two saltine crackers and my little bit of tuna fish that I could have. And I was like, God damn. And she had like a taco bar. I was like, this is fucking torture. Well, and I think, I think 
<clears throat> we should really zero in on that because I think, as you said earlier, a lot of people think they have this misconception that like it's the easy way out. Like, <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is suddenly getting clogged up, but uh, the point is like people think that weight loss surgery is like a fucking Mario cheat code. Like you just jump the warp eight. And it's, you're definitely, done. it's definitely it's definitely not. not. <laughs> I, I mean, a lot of the times I think that people that want to lose like instant weight aren't thinking about the health aspect of it. They're thinking about the outside. How yeah. and uh, I had the the inside done and I wasn't unhappy mm. with if anything I was unhappy after the fact because I've yeah. always been a bigger person and I didn't know who I was like I didn't know what kind of a person I was well not that it defined me but I was sure. comfortable in my skin at a larger weight and then suddenly I had to have skin removal and I wasn't I'm just yeah. like eh, I don't like this but you get used to it and sure. I mean, if it's healthy, if it, if I can get past all like infection stuff, that's great. But as far as weight loss is in gastric's concerned, it's a, it's not like a quick fix. You have to change everything. Everything You're changes. Like, it, you will get sick, and unless you want to live in sickness forever, I don't know who wants to do that. Exactly. Like who wants? Like my aunt was just going with the flow, I guess, because I was just like, I don't. I'm not somebody who wants to throw up. Like, yeah, that's not fun. When I'm sick, and I'm just like, because I got power control on, and I'm just like. <laughs> I'm going to vomit. Like, my mom was like, you what? And I'm just like, give me a second. I'm going to get up. I'm doing, I'm in the middle of like solitary and now I'll get up and do it in a second. <laughs> like it's, it's exhausting having gastric and thinking you're going to not change mentally. Like sure. your, your intake changes. You get headaches. If you don't eat, you get headaches. If you do eat and you eat the wrong thing, like, and it's not like a oh well you got gastric and now you have to like you're eating vegetables you can't eat certain vegetables I could eat carrots for a long time oh my god because <laughs> it's like it's raw vegetables so it, oh, yeah. it's like it's tough on your stomach to digest and I'm like well what the fuck I thought I was gonna be like able to eat healthy and shit and they're like no they're like this is like a portion <laughs> control situation yeah so it's like control your portions exclude raw vegetables right now and fruits and I'm like what the fuck's left this is what I thought I was gonna be eating yeah I was like I thought I was just gonna get a good fresh start I'm gonna start yeah. with the veg and the fruits and they're like no first off fruits have unnecessary sweets in them like the sugars you don't need that and I'm like okay I clearly didn't read all the pamphlets but uh no it was moderation sounds like a lot of work yeah oh it was like which I understand why they did that's how I felt yeah. how these kids are crying that's how I felt when they're like you can't even eat fruit I was like what the fuck yeah I was like no smoothies I was like I love these good smoothies smoothies are the best oh man I where, love Where do you smoothies. get your smooth? Do you make them or do you go somewhere? I made them for a long time and I was like, man, I'm probably putting a lot of sugar in this. This is not going to help me at all. Yeah. So I went to, I've never been to a Smoothie King. Okay. Yeah. 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 I go to the, um, what is that? Robex? I've been to the tropical, I've been to the uh, Robex and the tropical whatever, but I've never been to a Smoothie King. I'd love to go to a Smoothie King. They're actually opening one up. It's more down my way. So yeah. it's probably out of the way, but I think it's the only one I know of the area. Uh, outside of, I know there, I know for sure there's one in Dulles Mall because I've been in there. Yeah. But um, right over there at the very end of Fort Belvoir, right before you hit the Fairfax County Parkway. Oh, okay. There's like a brand new Jimmy John's there. There's like all these new apartments. Oh, wow. And so they're putting one right there at the bottom level. So I had a, an ex boss, and when I went to Michael's, and he went to work at that Jimmy John's and was just like, that's right, I'm leaving Michael's. And we're like, oh, yeah, did you get another job? He's like, yeah, it's better. It's Jimmy John's. I'm like, oh, calm All down, hot dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> just chill, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Jimmy John's, though. What's up with your bread? Yeah. They, they always up. say, like, uh, free smells. It's kind of weird. Free smells? That's what it says on there. They have, like, they have like uh, neon lights. It says free smells? Yeah, it flashes. It says free smells. Oh, man. Because they're saying that our, our sandwiches smell this good that you'll want to come in and smell for free. I don't know I'm, that I want to go out of my way and smell anything. First off, why are people, why are random people smelling the bread I'm going to order? Get those noses <laughs> That's my off. bread. Yeah, get those noses away from my bread, <laughs> my meat, bro. Like, I also can't get over the fact that they have the Arby's where we got the meats or whatever. And then they had oh, to yeah. put in the end for sandwiches. I'm like, yeah, duh. Like, what, what, what else would it? Like, we know it's funny that it's, we've got the meats. Like, good there's there's good puns there it's so funny but also don't don't ruin it by saying for sandwiches yeah we don't think you're laying them on like your naked chest and like doing a dance like relax <laughs> like just give me my goddamn sandwich i would never think of that with arby's 
It's Arby's. The yeah. fact that they've got the Bob's Burgers guy doing the voice for the commercial, it's amazing. <laughs> but that, I'm, I, like, I've always been a, an Arby's fan. So Yeah, I had them, I want to say, like a month ago now. It's pretty good. I love Arby's. Shout out to Arby's. Do you get much of that these days or no? You can't really fuck with that it's stuff. It's a lot of bread. Uh, it's a lot of bread. I can probably eat. I try to limit the bread yeah. just because it should expand. And rice. Um, which is awful because I love rice. But, rice uh, is good. Um, when it comes to like sandwiches and shit, like I can eat half. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe half. Definitely no foot long subs left in my life. Like that would definitely take a few days. And again, we'll go back to Subway not having bread that you can put in a fridge. Yeah, that's for a few true. Days. What about so, wraps? Are you able to do those very well? Um, yes. Love me is a good wrap. My brother's girlfriend actually uh, makes wraps and then leaves me extras when I babysit. And I'm just like, thanks, Patty. Get a bomb. <laughs> she gave me a buffalo chicken wrap with ranch today. And I was like, God damn, this is delicious. That sounds really good, actually. <laughs> she, she like left me like a pound of uh, shrimp salad. Yeah. Which I thought was going to be like shrimp with other stuff. And it was just like, no, it was like lettuce and some spicy ass shrimp and I was like my face is on fire but this is goddamn delicious so <laughs> shout out to Patty on that she's great how, but, uh, how are you with spices in your stomach um well I'm super white so um not good not good yeah just like alcohol uh it's I could probably have a drink yeah and then I'm like ooh feeling it yeah which sucks I'm not really much of like a spicy guy like I'll have it but I don't seek it out if that makes sense yeah like everything used to give me heartburn like yeah everything I can imagine like Cheerios give me heartburn <laughs> I don't know if that's just the fiber or what who knows could but be yeah yeah um, so also when I do the shits too well yeah I don't have that problem <laughs> then I have to eat like a ton of Cheerios. It's all jacked up in there. I don't know yeah. what's going on. All the all the life of just eating foot long subs and then like they're like suddenly not. They're like you'll never shit again. <laughs> Such a tough road for me. Also, I'm disgusting and also perpetually single. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but uh, no, like spicy stuff, anything with alcohol. Um, also, I have a peanut allergy. Oh that, wow, that was always really bad. But then when I had surgery, I was just kind of like. I got a peanut allergy. It's whatever. Um, I had an egg roll. Yeah. Um, I don't know how long after surgery. It was a while though, because I was eating an egg roll, and I was sleeping, and I had a, a like a beanie on, and I, my mom was like, "You got to eat something," and I was like, "All right." So I ate an egg roll. I was like, "All right, baby, leave me alone." I went back yep. to sleep, and I was going <sighs> like the kid from Hey Arnold. Oh my god! Yeah. And my mom woke me up. I was like, "What is?" wrong with you are you snoring and i took my my beanie off my face and she's just like sweet baby jesus you need a doctor oh my god <laughs> i like pound benadryl to the face because i look like will smith and like hitch oh yeah like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah my shit was swollen up couldn't <laughs> breathe i was like what the f she's like what did you eat i was like a roll it's like i don't know what happened <laughs> an egg roll singular an egg roll a single yeah. vegetable egg roll but because oh it was god. soaked or fried in uh peanut oil so you a vegetarian or vegan or something? Hell no. no. God, I wish. Well, you mentioned a lot of veggies. That's why I was wondering. Yeah, oh, I love vegetables. I'm also one of those people that like, I feel like I could probably substitute. I like I've said like some blasphemous shit. Like I told my mom I could like replace cauliflower with or uh, replace uh, potatoes with cauliflower, and she's like, "Get out of my house! I don't know who you are." <laughs> she's not having any she's of that. Like, <laughs> she's like, "I was like, uh, are you serious?" She's like, uh, "I don't know what came over me, but also don't ever say some stupid shit like that." Yeah, I made like buffalo cauliflower wings once, and I was like, "This is legit." And she's just like, this is "Legit." She's like, "But you know what else is good?" Buffalo chicken wings. <laughs> I was like, you also make a good point. It's hard to argue with that. Yeah. I know if I want wings, I'll usually go to Hooters. I I've feel never like been to Hooters. the best wings. Which is weird. I feel like those are my home people. Well, like, I will tell you this because I, I actually used to go to this Buffalo Wild Wings over here yeah. um, for UFC fights. Mm -hmm. And the service sucked so bad. And the last oh, wow. few times the wings have been kind of like dry and very hard to chew. Ugh. So this last UFC fight, my buddy and I went to Hooters and they were like, and, and I always knew that they were good wings, but like, I just never went because usually that location of Woodbridge always gets packed. Yeah. And, um, but I went there and the wings were just, they were the shit. So I, like, I never went to Hooters cause my uncle was like, there's nothing hooting at Hooters. And I was like, I don't know what that means. But I assume it means the service is better, the food's better. They serve owls, so yeah, I don't know. One of, one of the three. Yeah, if they're serving owls, then I'm definitely going to hard pass on that because owls, owls are gross. They eat weird things. So. <laughs> my mother loves owls. She's obsessed with them. I don't my, know why. I, my mom's oldest sister, she's 
obsessed with owls too. Yeah. Yogi's not a fan either. We recently discovered there's one in our tree in the backyard. He's just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm like, leave it alone. It'll kill you. It'll claw your eyes. And he's just like, nah, mom, I've got to find it. I'm yeah. Like you don't, son. I will, I will kill this owl. Yeah, he's, oh man, he's nuts. Yeah. But he's also something I have to get in shape for, which, because yeah. he used to be afraid of everything. Yeah. Now he's reversing where he's just like, <laughs> I'll fight anybody. Yeah. He's like Conor McGregor <laughs> in the aspect of like, if you, I don't know, if you're bigger than him, then he's just like immediately going to be like, I will fuck you, your mother, and just yeah. murder your family. And you're just like, where did this come from? I just asked for an autograph. Yeah. And he's, and I'm just like, sir, you're dragging me. You're dragging me. What's happening? <laughs> My arm. Ow. He literally, we went and had him blessed the other yeah. day. And some lady was like performing elderly abuse on some man, like threw a fucking walker at him. And <laughs> I was being a nosy bitch. Like, do I need to go keel kick this lady? And yeah. then Yogi wasn't having it. And he, I was, I was like taking the knee and I had, I had like, his thing wrapped around my arm and I was just like this bitch and then all of a sudden he went for it and I hit the ground and I was like in the middle of having the dogs and the animals blessed I'm like Ugh. oh my god <laughs> and I was like please don't drag me across the church parking lot <laughs> but he's a he's a big old boy yeah so he needs exercise too we're working on it there you go yeah get mama in shape get the dog in we're shape we're trying everything. man it's it's now it's more of a like a mental game as soon as I can I'm, I'm trying to get mentally stable to be able to have the energy to sure do yeah. the physicality of it. But it's like, I don't want to use that as an excuse. So even on bad days, I'm just like, you got to walk every day. If you don't yeah. want to lift weights or anything like that, then if I had money, I'd go to a gym, but I'm just like, I'm not going to use that as an excuse either. Yeah. So we, like every day I'm and now I'm, I like my mom's doing, going through what she's going through. And I'm just like, just go for a walk with us. I was like, it's yeah. not going to be strenuous. I was like, I won't make you run. We can talk all the shit you want about whoever you want. <laughs> Pick a sibling. We'll go and talk about how shitty they are. And then we'll just walk. And yeah. she finally got up and joined me the other day. So I was like, sweet. How long are your walks usually? <sighs> about 15, 20 minutes. That's cool. Um, yeah. Cause he's big in the chest. So he gets, gets winded easy. Yeah. yeah. And doesn't, doesn't do sunshine. <laughs> hates the sun, hates the heat. Wow. Yeah, he's a he's a picky little boy. Yeah. Yeah. He was a rescue, so we spoiled the hell out of him. Oh yeah. Yeah. And uh that kind of backfired because mm. now he like runs the show. Oh yeah. Mm. He's mm -hmm. he like when he runs out of like things to take his medicine, like I give him cheese. And I'm, <laughs> that's not great. He has like a daily banana with my dad. Like there's <laughs> banana break with the bros. And I'm like What a life. He, oh, he's living a great life. Yeah. yeah, he's the best part of my life, probably. So, I would, I, I would love to take my dog on some of my walks, but he will not go on the long walks either. Like, I like to go for like five and six mile walks. Like, you see me, I go to like, I go to like Burke Lake now. I go wow. to like all these parks and I just walk around and just, I just love getting lost in the woods. I have a friend that gave me an app. It was called All Trails. Yeah, I think I. You have that app? I think I have that. Let me, let me see. <laughs> That's, he was like, hey, figure, yeah. There it is, yeah. all trails. So yeah, he's just like, yeah, so you start small. Because I'm always like, I'd love to go hiking, but I'm just like, I also watch a lot of true crime and like yeah. Oxygen Network where I'm like, I would be that person to either get murdered in the woods <laughs> or get lost and die and fall off a cliff. So, yeah. and I don't want to put that on my dog. Cause like, then yeah. what's he going to do? He'll go back. He'll find somebody to feed him and love him. But like, he's going to be like, damn, bummer. Sorry, well, mom. Well, I kind of have like a rule. Like I'll go usually like if it's really early in the morning, I'm like, well, there's no criminals. They're going to be out like eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> like they're all sleeping. <laughs> all those uh, do gooder <laughs> criminals yeah. that are getting up. Like, yeah, if they're going to kill today, me. I'm going to kidnap. You know what? The best part about that is sometimes you do vlogs when you walk. Yes. Found footage. Everyone loves a good found footage. Yes. Love it. Watch me die on like camera. Blair Witch Project. Yeah. It's good. It's awful. But you, you got to watch it. They had me bamboozled when I was younger. I thought it was a shoot. No, I definitely didn't think it was a shame. I was, uh, I was like, this is, this is fucking real. We'll never go in the woods. I don't want to see a single tree in my life. Yeah. And then I was like, oh. And this place is like what an hour from us. Yeah. Like, that's like, the whole screwed up I'm part, like, right? Like I'll never, I'll never explore because I am not gonna get gotten by these children. Well, at least with like witch. a Burke Lake or something, like you at least have like a trail. Like there's like 
you you follow this trail and that app will show you how to stay on that trail. Yeah. Even though those like these parks, they're like pretty obvious what the trail is. Like, but don't do it. Yeah, I no. do. I do want to try Fountainhead Park because their trail is like 10 miles. I want to try that. I didn't realize that there were actually trails that are like you can't have a dog on. Like I thought like yeah, I any trail either. you could just take an animal on. But they're like it's, there are some that are like, no, it's outside. Like so where, where, where is it going to go? I had a lady yell at me the other day. She's like, can you please not have your dog poop in front of my house? And like I was like, um, this is the only where uh, I was like, where would you like him to go? Because it yeah. wasn't in her yard. And uh, it was I mean, what do you want to do? The dog's got a shit. <laughs> like, yeah. And she's just like, go, I don't care. Go. She's like, it can be at any of my other neighbors houses. And I was like, oh, you're one of those. I was like, no, I'm just going to make sure he shits here every day. <laughs> yes. Every Thank single you. day. Like there was like her neighbor was like walking by like this bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> like, That's me. I was like, if, if I would have like super shot put, thrown it into your house, I would have understood. But yeah, relax. It's a dog. Well, like I will say it's legit been 10 years since I've seen you. Like what else is anything else? Uh, major life changes in 10 years. <sighs> in 10 years. Um, a lot of family stuff. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, my my uncle was uh, killed in a car accident. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, he fell asleep, hit a dump dump truck, and uh, left behind uh, three kids and a wife, who's my aunt, and two of two of her kids were still young. And I moved in with her and my grandma to help raise her kids. Yeah, got one of them through high school, graduated, no um, did her graduation party, did a. Um, 18th party she's doing great she's killing it she's a hairdresser she's lived her best life couldn't awesome. be more proud yeah um my aunt's in a much better place so that's good my goddaughter graduated everybody's graduating everybody they start so small and then uh just going through stuff with my grandma and yeah. her passing and trying to figure out family stuff and just trying to figure out when you suddenly become unemployed you're like you get that down and then you're like, but what do I really want to do? Yeah. Because the job I worked 12 years at, I was complacent and, uh, cause I, I suffered through a lot of sexual harassment at the job. Right. I was the only woman in an all male shop and it was, it was just really bad. And I kind of just put up with it cause I liked the job security. Um, but now I'm just like, I was never one of those people. that's like, I have dreams because, yeah. uh, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a realist, I guess. And I'm like, yeah, what's so, that dream shit? What's yeah, that all like, about? I'm like, I, I, you got to do what's making you money. Like sure. that's always been me. Cause I've always taken care of people, but now I'm just like, the dream is now to own enough land to take in elderly veterans and animals that people don't want or abuse. And just have a farm and live out your life. You take go. care of. And you know what? You've got, now you've got all these wrestling Stations. Everybody's got their Monday through Friday lineup. Yeah. Have everybody watching that. Old people be angry about it. But you know what? They love the violence. They're veterans. Yeah. They oh, like yeah. a little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> it's a little bit of competition. I'll get that nitro going up yeah. in, in there with the oldies. And then just animals that I can love, like Ronda Rousey and her awesome farm. Like, yeah, she has a whole farm she's now. She's a fucking farm. <laughs> like... Like what? So she is living your dream right now with all yeah. the well, part of it, part of it. Yeah, with the some part. of it. I mean, I don't want to be a stepmom. That'd be weird. Yeah, just because I have red hair and I would assume I'd have to be evil, and that's just so much work. <laughs> but sweet farm, tall ass husband who also can fight really well. There you go. Yeah. Like, yeah. but I, I don't know. I'm leaning. To, I'm leaning away from MMA fighters just because I went on a Tinder date with an MMA fighter. Oh and, shit! And he. He wanted to shock me, I guess. And he pulled out his fucking teeth and like put them on the table. I was at a fucking Uno's, bro. At our Uno's. He our put, Uno's. At our not just, Uno's. Not just any Uno's. No, our, our Uno's. Uno's. We own that Uno's in case anybody's curious. It's in yes. Kingstown. It's awesome. Go it is there. awesome, yes. But uh, no, he put his teeth on the fucking table. And I was like, I was in shut shock that I was like. <sighs> And I was like, I didn't say anything because I was like, maybe it's a medical thing. And yeah. I'm like, no, no problem, dude. If you don't have any teeth, that's cool. And then he put him back and he was just like, I had them all removed because I'm an amateur MMA fighter. And I'm like, ah. he's like, we're not going to go on a second date. I'm like, you know, 
you could have waited to like the third date and I would have been like you're insane but I might be here for it yeah first first impressions you can't just pull your teeth out bro you can't just sit your teeth on my napkin okay my drink was sitting there now your weird gums are all over my glass and my I'm not gonna enjoy God. my pizza yeah this is this is quite a story yeah I was just like I'll never <laughs> be able to go shit. back to Uno's ever again and then I went back to Uno's and I was like I can't sit over there anymore so I don't sit in the bar anymore. <laughs> oh, so they didn't give them. They didn't, they didn't give you guys our table. I don't no, know. I don't even know what our table was. But no, <laughs> no it was like in the, like where the family sit. But no, because oh, okay. yeah, I, yeah. I was in the bar area watching sports because the Mets were playing. Also a team I support, which mm. how's did that not, working out for you? Did not work out so much this year. Hey, we went to this series a few years ago. We mm -hmm. lost really quickly, but we went. Well, at least you went. We showed up. It's my turn now. Well, we didn't show up. We we hung out. <laughs> yeah. We brought the chips to the party and then immediately got our ass kicked. But you know what? Go Mets. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best of us. Redskins fans knows what I'm talking about. You know what I'm oh, saying? I'm sure they can relate. Yeah. <laughs> Every year's the Redskins year. And then it's not. So <laughs> Every living. year around uh, preseason, we're going to the Super Bowl this living year. Living that dream. I'm like, when's the last time? They're like, don't talk about them. 1992. January like, 26th. My like, cousin's birthday. Like, they're like, you don't like, you, you like the Bears. I'm like, I know. I know I, I like a shitty team. Yeah. I accept it. I, all my teams are shitty. <laughs> I live with that burden. But you know what I don't say? The Bears are going to the bowl, baby. I don't say that. I'm just like, yeah. we'll be lucky to make playoffs. Yeah. But I'm happy about it. Might get our ass kicked by the Raiders on a Sunday. You son of a bitch. You. <laughs> drive this is my... over. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Slam just fly off the table. <laughs> Out you go. <laughs> After the Raiders. Oh, well, Raiders. I guess I'm ending the podcast for real now. Fuck that. I'm not going to oh, stand man. for that on my podcast. Well, also, <laughs> shout out to Ethos for the, for the water. Ethos Water, Starbucks, who we did not ask to do this, but they've been cool every time I've done it. To the children that screamed and cried this entire podcast, yes. we salute you. One again. hour and nine minutes. Would you believe we've gone that long? Crushed it. It's my favorite thing to ask after an hour, because usually I just like, I lure my guests in. Oh, no. And then an hour just goes by. And I'm like, hey, how about that hour we just did? Excuse me? Oh, man. Did we go an hour? Yes, we did. See, I'm one of those people that listens to podcasts, like, religiously, like, all day. So you're, like, hoping it's an hour? Uh, yeah, I was hoping for, like, six. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have that kind of time. I, I haven't eaten dinner yet, so I, yeah. <laughs> I gotta go get a snack. But. Well, well, the un the uh, the Unos was four hours, and that probably should have been a podcast, but... Yeah, no kidding. My God. I, li I listen to a lot of true crime yeah. uh, podcasts, so, like... There you go. All, my my best friend is just like you're a psycho because she's I was like I'm having weird dreams she's like what's going on I'm like well I was listening to the Ted Bundy uh, last podcast on the last episode she's just like what the fuck I was like yeah I fell asleep listening to it and then I just had these weird dreams she's like no shit you psycho like pull yeah. back she's like listen to some ocean sounds like a sure. normal person I'm like no that's not normal <laughs> don't let me have to pee every five minutes. Be oh like, my god, it sounds like my water addiction every five <laughs> minutes. It literally that's how it goes. I read my my app wrong. I know I'm going over your hour. I'm not trying to get to six, I promise. But no, I read my read my um I got my what is this? A Fitbit? Fitbit, yeah. You're not uh, you're not you're not you don't oh. go that you don't go like that? Apple no, watch? you know what? I I'm working on it. Um, okay. I don't like to wear a watch. I'm getting used to it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, if I get a big watch, then I'd break it for well, they make, sure. They make a smaller one. It goes like a little bit smaller. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, I was doing the app and it was just like, you need this much water. And I was drinking like so much freaking water. And I was like, I read it wrong. It was like, I had to drink half of what that was. And I was like drinking like two gallons of water. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pissing my brains out. I'm just fucking, I want to die. I feel like the yeah. bitch from Willy Wonka and like, roll me down the road. Like, <laughs> mom was like, why are you walking so slow? I'm like, there's a good chance I'll throw up water <laughs> everywhere if I oh move God. too fast. <laughs> so I have to, I had to figure out the Fitbit. And then yeah. now it tells me, Hey, it's eight o'clock. You should go to bed. And I'm like, don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm sitting here and watching old wrestling clips with my dog. He's yeah. farting and sleeping and doing his thing, and I'll get there. I'll well, get there. Well, we got AEW tonight. I know. Got the DVR on just in case you ran a little bit long, trying to give me shit about your Raiders and my Bears. Well, it, it sometimes happens. Yeah. But I think it's going to be a good show. I'm only going to see probably a half an hour of it because I'm I know, going to bed. Because you're doing sleepy time early, though. Yeah. How's um, that working out? It's all right. I'm, I'm getting used to it. I mean, I wish I could do that. I, 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 life has changed a lot for me in 10 years. There used to be just like a lot of uh, hesitation, mm -hmm. anxiety, nervousness. So I still have a little bit of that. But 
Um, now I just kind of figure out like, what do I want? And I try to actually like go for it. The best part about catching up with you is that I knew you then. Yes. In the hesitation and anxiety phase. Then I caught up with you 10 years and then it was like, I'm going to, I'm going to start making changes. And then now where you're just like crushing the fucking game, which so proud. I'm trying. Thank you. No, you're killing it, dude. I'm always like, damn, Gary's up at 3am. What an asshole. I guess I got to get up and not get a snack. I'll just walk up and down these stairs real quick. See like (laughs) I'm doing something because I get up really too, but like. I don't do anything. I just get up because I'm my body's just that way. Yeah. So I'm up at like 6 a.m. My dog is like he eats at seven. He's like I don't want this bitch to sleep through the. Yeah. The, it's time to eat alarm. I want my food. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like up at six and I'm like making coffee and stuff and I'm just like watching the sunrise and I'm like Gary's on a treadmill right now crushing the fucking game and I'm just like sitting here like having a biscotti like. Uh, I'm being a slowly. Bitch. I'm slowly easing into it. So oh, man. we'll see. Ask me again in a month and I'll tell you where I'm at. <laughs> You're just like, I hate the morning. I hate the sun. I hate cardio. I hate the clock. F this clock. Will yeah. we get daylight savings soon, right? Or is, are we losing an hour? Uh, I think an hour? we're losing an hour. Fuck. <sighs> You're going to be getting up at two. <laughs> You're like. I should have I should have started this after that to see where you I You should have because your body's going to be all jacked up. Hey, well, you know what? We'll, we'll see you in the new year. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I am in a, in a month or two. But, you have that uh, crazy long old man beard, and you're at the gym, and people are just like, "What's going on with this guy?" I'm just like, "I'm doing my cardio." Like, <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, okay. Let me ask you this: Anything else that we did not cover that you want to cover? I want to make oh, sure no. we get it there. Uh, Chris Jericho for all time AEW champion for life. He's um, amazing. Le champion. Champion. A little bit of the bubbly. Love the bubbly. Love yeah. it. I think everything should be a little bit of the anything now. Yeah. A- anything his merch is, it should be a little bit of the, and then that, just because he's amazing. I love it. Um, other than that, you should follow Gary on all things because he's awesome. We're and plugging me. Yeah. We should be plugging you. I don't have it. I, you know, I got nothing. You don't want me to send people to your page. Uh, I don't have a page. <laughs> okay. All right. um, I have an Instagram that's private because I work for the government at one Fair point. Fair enough. All right. Um, you can follow uh, not my Facebook because I don't go on there. I just post, post things of my dogs. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to see my dog? That's cool. People just be like, this is a really awesome podcast and uh, I'll wish her well through spirit. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that works. Yeah. I mean, you could all absolutely add me on Instagram, but you're going to get a lot of my dog. That's all I post on there. Occasionally I'll post my butt just because I love me undies and I, I like for them to send me things. So. <laughs> you're going to be getting some unexpected followers now. <laughs> That's also, I also ended this in the wrong direction. Just look at my dog. There just regard go. my butt and follow Gary. <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, if people want to see pictures of your dog, where where should they go to do that? Uh, at Ashley Rose. Ashley is spelled weird because my mom's unique like that. It's A-S-H-L-E-A-R-O-S-E. I think that's how you spell my name. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, you yeah, know. If all those feels, don't worry. You're not missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Let's not wait another 10 years. What do you say? I'm I'm down. This was awesome. Got to hit the Unos. The I haven't Unos. even met your wife yet, dude. We we need to make that happen. Yeah, we need to make that happen. I'll just I'll tell. I will also tell her of the weirdo that took their teeth out at the Unos while we're at Unos. Well, I have to wait till the new year for Unos if <sighs> I decide to go. Killing me, dude. And it'll also have to be in the daytime because you go to the night night time and like seven a.m. Well, like, weekends are a little bit different. But. Okay, then we'll we'll do the yeah. evening after said pizza strike, and then <laughs> we'll work it out. There you go. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining me on the podcast. This is really awesome. Thank you for having me. Remember at the beginning of the show, I mentioned a little thing called Patreon? Well, I'd love to have you join me, but Gary, what is Patreon? It's a website that is helping small creators like me raise funds to further expand their creative visions. For as low as $1 a month, you can help me further my dream of reaching as many people as possible and eventually taking the show on the road to meet all these fine people face to face and add a video element to this podcast. If you were to donate $4 a month, you'd be hearing this show a few days earlier with no commercials and getting access to my close friends group on Instagram. Donate $10 a month and you get all that plus your name right at the beginning of the show alongside other producers. But act fast. That tier is limited to 10 people. I've got a whole lot more to offer and you can get all the details over at patreon.com slash Gary Cantrell. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. Thanks so much for checking out the show and I'll talk to you again really soon.
hardworkalwayswins.com. It's more than just a clothing line. It's my mantra. I speak it. I wear it. I live it. And I'd love to have you join the Hard Work Squad. We're constantly adding new items to the store, including our brand new future-ish hats, which come in a variety of colors, including camo. I mean, who doesn't like camo? We also just put our famous Splash logo in gold to match our OG logo, and there's so much more here, you just got to check it out. Here's the best part. Use the code PODCAST at checkout to take 10% off of your very first order and join the Hard Work Squad today.